check for understanding. All right, what do we have here? Keep in mind, students, pick one and hit submit. It gets submitted to your teacher. So let's think about this. And if you're just grabbing an answer, bad choice, this will hurt you later. It will. You need to understand it. It will benefit your life. All right, which of the following is true about the main method? Okay, you might already be thinking, what the heck is the main method? It comes before a class header. It does not need syntax rules. All code has to follow syntax. It comes before the header. It is where the program starts to run. There is no purpose of main. So you know what's really handy about this is we can just jump back here and take a look. All right, so they said the word main. Well, for me, line four right here is main. And this must be then, there's no other main in here, the main method, all right? A method, as I've talked about previously, it's a chunk of code, right? It's a block of code that we can ask to run whenever we need. That being said, all right, so they said the main method comes before the class. Well, let me look for the word class. Wait a minute, that doesn't look like it comes before. Let's see what would happen if I attempt to do that. I'm going to just hit Control-C to copy, Control-V. Oh, yeah, no, no, no can't do that. So it definitely does not come before. Now, what about it is not required? Really? It's not required? So, okay, let's just buy. The great thing about code is you can always test error. Oh, guess it's required. I'm going to control Z, which undoes. All right. It's where the program starts running. Interesting. Huh. It's where the program starts running. I mean, I guess we could test that. What if I try to do this? Control C. I could put code up here, right? But I think we would have issues. So what is the first thing this program does? Painter my painter. So it's where the program starts running. Sounds possible, right? We have talked about this. Now, the one other thing I want to get at is syntax. And students, we have gone over syntax. I'm just going to open a new tab and Google it. And through the magic of the internet, here we go. Wikipedia is not a citable source, I know, but it is useful. Okay, syntax. For those who think, I don't know what that is. In computer science, the syntax of a computer language is a set of rules that defines combinations of symbols that are considered to be the correct structure. Super easy way to think about this, it's grammar, right? It's the idea that sentence should end a period and have capital letter at the beginning. Hopefully we know that by now. That same thing in code, not those exact rules, but there's this grammar thing. And if you don't follow it, say I delete a curly brace and let me just get rid of a semicolon here, it breaks everything. So obviously main is going to need syntax, right? Just try deleting some of this. Try breaking the syntax. Nope, that's a no. <laughs> just a no. So through the process of elimination, yeah, we can leave. We already completed that. Through the process of elimination, the only thing we would have left is it's where the program starts running. Now, I need to hit this again, guys. You need to understand this. So go back through, think about this carefully. It will hurt you later if you don't. 